Hi, I'm Ellie, and today we are going to look at an artwork by Dylan Miner in the exhibition, Seeds of Resistance at the MSU Road. Now that we are open to public, if you and your family want to visit the museum, you can take an even closer look at this artwork in person. Dylan is a citizen of the Métis Nation of Ontario. He tells us that he was raised in the woods in rural Michigan, where he built a strong relationship with the local geography, while getting to know the land, its seasons, and its spirit. Dylan is an artist and activist. An activist is someone who is not willing to let a situation go unnoticed. It is an individual who feels so passionately about a topic, they are compelled to learn more, to raise awareness among others, and to bring about change. Dylan uses his art as a form of activism. Just like a protest, an art piece can share a clear message to encourage change. When you look closely at this painting, what do you see? Look at the shapes and the lines. Does it remind you of anything? Dylan is showing us a path of the Kalamazoo River in Michigan, like a map. Maps can tell us stories about a place. Part of this river turned black when a pipeline used to transfer oil burst in 2010. This was one of the largest inland oil spills in U.S. history. How do you think this affected the river? Spills like this impact the whole ecosystem because water is needed for all forms of life. Can you think about how many times you use water a day? Water is very important. The materials in a piece of art can give us clues about the message. Let's look closely at the materials that Dylan chose to make this piece. Look at the textures. Have you ever seen these materials before? The thick, sticky paint that creates the river's edge is bitumen, a type of crude oil, while the green fabric is a synthetic felt made from petroleum. Through the materials, we can see the story of this river unfold. How do you think this artist feels about this place and what has happened there? What message do you think he wants to share? Just like Dylan, we have the power to communicate the change we want to see through our art. What's an important memory you have with water? What ways do you use water? How do plants and animals depend on water? Make a message to share with the world about the importance of water.